According to the World Health Organization, high blood pressure is the most common cardiovascular disease worldwide, but one third of those with the condition don't even realize that they have it. In today's HealthCast, local sense medical specialist Christy Kruger looks at an effective form of treatment, its risks and benefits. Well, indeed, high blood pressure is a major reason for many strokes and heart attacks. It can be lowered, though, through some really easy lifestyle modifications, your diet, your exercise, and a class of drugs called ACE inhibitors. Now, along with lowering your blood pressure, ACE inhibitors are very useful for people who also have high cholesterol. Maybe you have a weak heart muscle. That can help there, too. And they even provide a protective effect on the kidneys of people with diabetes. But as with any medication, there are some potential risks with ACE inhibitors. It is well known that ACE inhibitors can cause a condition called angioedema. That is where there is a swelling of the tongue and the lips, and uh, that sometimes can lead to life-threatening uh, difficulty in breathing, swallowing, etc. Now, fortunately, the incidents of this angioedema are pretty rare, and doctors say the numerous benefits of these drugs far outweighs the risk factors. Also in today's health cast, some growing concerns about the increased use of those e-cigarettes among our teenagers. Conventional cigarettes have the risk, uh, the additional risk of certain carcinogens when the cigarettes actually burn. E-cigarettes still contain nicotine, and nicotine is a very, very powerful and addictive substance that really is not found within um, the normal life of an adolescent or a teenager. Um, much less a child. And so to, to introduce that substance to them, it can put them on the track to being addicted to nicotine for the rest of their lives. And boy, that is certainly troubling. So late last week, the Food and Drug Administration announced some sweeping regulations for e-cigarettes, which also includes premium cigars as well as the hookahs. And all will now be covered by regulations that are already affecting traditional cigarettes as well as smokeless tobacco. And that's today's HealthCast.